Hey guys, welcome back to 4 StarCraft 2 Community Spotlight. Community Spotlight is where we take a look at videos and replays sent to us from you folks in the community, and we break down, analyze, and refine the strategies that you send to us. If you have a strategy that you would like to send to us to break down and discuss, you can send all strategy replays to starcraft2strategy at yahoo.com. Also, if you have any replays that professional players or high-level players have done and you want us to break down their strategies, you can send them to that same email address. So today we're going to be taking a look at a Terran strategy from Spunnik Stain. This is going to be a proxy base, proxy barracks strategy. Essentially what this is going to consist of is on any map where you have on any map where you have a secluded island area that you can lift off your command center to and drop off, you can try this strategy. You're going to be basically starting the game off by lifting off the command center and taking two of your initial SCVs and keeping them on the ground. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do all of your gathering in this island secluded area and you're going to be doing all of your building on the mainland uh, and in a proxy position. So basically what we're going to be looking at doing here is dropping barracks uh, right outside of our opponent's base. Uh, and that's kind of the whole, that's the whole shebang right there, that's everything. But the reason that I posted, the reason that I'm posting this strategy is because I think it's really interesting, it's a really cool idea and it's a really cool philosophy. Essentially what we're doing is, in knowing the fact that, okay, our opponent's going to scout us, they're going to see a lack of a base. Their next move is going to be to check all other bases and check the high yields as well. Everything that they, they can be reached from the ground. Now once they realize that we're in none of those positions, the probable response is for them to say, okay, they must be in the island position. So I need to get to them, so I need to build air. But in fact, you will not be uh, hurt by this whatsoever because you, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be massing up marines on the ground and you're going to be counting the fact that they're they're almost almost guaranteed to be tacking up to air or at the very least tacking up to uh, a drop ship of sorts you're almost guaranteed that fact and if you're going for this mass marine army really er early in the game that is going to be able to counter and be a strong response to them spending all these resources tacking up to air and that's why I posted this strategy. You know, I had a whole bunch of plans for stuff I was going to do this morning for different videos that I was going to post. And I woke up and I read this email. I read the synopsis. I was like, that is a fantastic idea. And I need to show that to people. So looking at the build order here, um, we started off again by lifting off the command center, dropping it in this island position, and started building SCVs. At 9 supply, we went to our first barracks, and then at 11 supply, we dropped our second barracks. And obviously, once the barracks comes up, we're going to start producing marines out of it. Um, we're dropping our supply depots over here. I would advise against this. I would suggest probably dropping supply depots up in the island expansion. That way, they're safe from an attack. Um, if your opponent did spot this, you could always just lift off the barracks and try to fly them away. Um, and that way, they have somewhat of a chance of being safe. But if they spot this, uh, these supply depots are gone, and you're just going to get supply blocked, and there'll be nothing you can do about it. Um, dropping our third barracks here at 15 supply. And again, we're just going to be massing up these Marines and pushing out um, relatively early. Uh, once they do indeed spot us and they do check all the other bases, um, they are going to be in the position where they realize they should be teching up to air. In fact, I'm going to go straight to our opponent's vision real quick just to show you what they saw and their thought process. Now, if you take a look at this fog of war here, you see that he has scouted all of the possible land bases and he realizes we're either in one of these two corners or up here. The likely spot is that we're up here. So his decision, obviously, this is very rational, is to get these stargates and that's exactly what we're looking for him to do. So going back to our vision here, we have these three barracks down now. We're massing up Marines. Um, we're sitting here with these two SCVs as well, and we're going to push out very shortly because right about now is when he's going to be starting to get his air tech, and we want to move out at that point. Uh, something to note here, I would suggest continuing SCV production. It will slightly delay that Marine push, but only slightly, and it's going to vastly increase the amount of resources you get. Um, if you don't want to, if you do want to stick with this amount of SCVs, um, basically one per patch, um, okay, but at the very least, I would suggest getting an orbital command because those mules are going to be a huge boon to your economy. They're going to allow you to do much, much more. Um, so we're going to be pushing forward right now. And I want to note a few quick things about this push and uh, what Spun Xtane decides to do, um, his decisions as far as targeting is concerned. Uh, he basically, he does an excellent job, I would say, at prioritizing. Uh, he starts off with that first pylon building the air units. That's a good choice. Now, 
the next thing is going to be to remove any threats. Um, these probes here are getting us around and actually doing pretty significant damage. So he's doing an excellent job of pulling back and shooting. That's the kind of micro that you definitely want to get used to trying, especially with ranged units like Marines and Marauders. That pull back, shoot, pull back, shoot, pull back, shoot. That's really good. It's going to keep you out of harm's way from those melee units. Um, and even though they're just probes, they do significant damage. But back to his prioritizing here. Start off with that pylon, getting rid of these stargates. He then moved to the, moved to um, trying to stay alive against that probe surround and that stalker. So he pulled back, shot, did the necessary micro to stay alive and to kill off all of the workers. Now that nearly all of his workers are dead, he has killed both major pylons that were that were supplying power to his production buildings, and then he's moving on to the Nexus. So this is excellent prioritizing. Instead of just moving in and mopping up one building at a time, he picked the important buildings, he picked what he needed to do to stay alive, and then he moved on to the main building, which was that Nexus. So excellent, excellent decision making there. So going back, uh, I, again, I do want to make the few suggestions of continuing SCV production. You don't necessarily want to stop at one, one per patch. Uh, now, Yes, it's going to set you back slightly, but I'm going to honestly say, as far as timing is concerned, I would say it's going to set you back about 30 seconds or so from your push. Um, but at the same time, your economy is going to get a huge boost because every additional SCV that you, every additional SCV that you build is an additional five SCV per trip. I mean, five minerals per trip. That adds up really quickly, and that's per SCV. So definitely a good idea to continue SCV, SCV production and get that orbital command. Getting those mules is going to help significantly. Um, something I do want to note as well, again, this is this seems like a very effective strategy. I could see this working in many divisions, platinum and below easily. Um, I could even see this working in diamond to some extent, um, depending on how well, how thoroughly your opponent scouts. But I definitely, platinum and below, I could see this working very, very well. Um, with that said, the placement of these proxy barracks is super important. You really want to make sure you, you place it somewhere that's not easily checked, that they have to go out of their way to check. So for example, um, if we go to his vision, you see the normal scout route. That's what it looks like if you're scouting all the bases. With that said, there's a few dark areas. Um, this is one of the dark areas. If you take a look, I'm trying to find all the dark areas over here, you could go for some placing one or two over here if you could squeeze two in. Um, also over here as well. Um, so any place that there isn't likely to be checked isn't probable to be checked. Also in the corner of your own base isn't necessarily a bad idea because they aren't once they move in and they see you don't have a base there they aren't likely to check these far corners so that's not a bad bad placement spot as well. Um, so the placement super important, um, the timing of your push super important, and also prioritizing when you move into their base. So yeah guys, again we, we just took a look at Spun Extains um, proxy base and proxy barracks build. Really cool build, give it a try sometime. Again this has been 4 StarCraft 2 strategy. If you guys like our videos and you like what you see here, please do go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Keep watching and keep owning guys. So we're amassing up a little small task force here of Reapers. We're going to move out to do some harassment. Take a look back at our base. We are preparing for that transition here. Um, we are, of course, getting these Marines and Marauders now. Um, we're also going to be researching some of their upgrades as well. We're going to be getting Concussive Shell at some point in the near future. Now taking a look back at his base, again, we're, we're keeping up the harassment, like I said. We're taking advantage of the fact that he started pushing out with his roaches, as you just saw at the front of our base.